In number 15, we're asked to graph several functions. Uh, these are all exponential functions. We're asked to identify the y-intercept, the asymptote, the domain and range, and whether the function is increasing or decreasing. For each one, we're going to compare the given equation to the equation y equals a times b to the x. Okay, this is our basic exponential equation. Comparing y equals 4 to the negative x, we realize that a is equal to 1. This is our base, b, is equal to 4. And 4 uh, would generally denote a growth function. However, in this case, we have a negative exponent. And so this graph, although originally increasing, is actually going to reflect across the y-axis and actually become a decreasing function. We'll see this when we start looking at some actual values. I'm going to pick just a few values to start with here, and uh, maybe negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, just so we get an idea of what the basic function looks like. And then I'll show you again in the calculator where you can get as many values as you need. Remember, each one of these will get plugged in for the x. And so 4 to the opposite of negative 1 is 4 to the first, or 4. 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 fourth, or 0.25, if you're more comfortable with that. And 4 to the negative 2 would be 1 over 4 to the second, or 1 sixteenth. Okay, so we realize that this is getting closer and closer to zero. Um, so we've discussed already that this is a decreasing function now after its reflection. Uh, the y-intercept we see right here in our data table where x equals zero, the y-intercept is equal to one. The asymptote, as we realize this graph is decreasing, Notice that it's getting closer and closer to 0, 1 fourth, then 1 sixteenth. It would then go to 1 64th. So our asymptote is the x-axis or the equation y equals 0. Now let's graph this. We'll start with, this is our x-axis and our y-axis. We'll start with the points 1, 4, 0, 1. At 1, we're at 1 fourth. And at 2, we're at 1 sixteenth. So we're getting closer and closer to that x-axis. We never actually reach it. That gives us our asymptote, which we can draw in here as a dotted line right on the x-axis. And that would be our basic graph. Uh, now that we have that and we can see it, we can talk about domain and range. Domain is the set of x values represented by the graph. Notice that our graph on the left is increasing here. Um, and it, it looks like it's going up, but remember, it's also going to the left. On the right, it's going down, and it's also going to the right, both forever and ever. So negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right. Our range is limited on the bottom. Remember, it's approaching zero, never reaching it. So our lower end would be zero, but not included in the range and our upper end would be infinity. Uh, let's now take a look at using the calculator to do the same thing that we just did here by hand. Um, all we need to do turn on the calculator and in y equals we'll put in 4 and then raise that to the negative x and graph. The graph looks very similar to the one that we're looking at. We can then go to the data table and see all of the values that we might be interested in. 
and you can see that the y values as we increase our x values are getting closer and closer to zero.